Hi, this is Justice. In this video, we're going to be talking about the color panel and the color set panel. So let's make these a bit bigger and let's talk about all the different features. We're going to talk about the color panel first and then we're going to talk about color sets right after that. All right, so here in the color panel, we have the square and we have the circle. And you can choose between a square or a circle here in the right. You can choose a grid. The grid here, you can have a nine by nine panel, seven by seven or five by five. And down here, you can choose between 36, 24 and 12 colors. And this helps you pick a single color more accurately instead of something that's a little bit of a variant somewhere in between. And lock will lock those settings. The sliders here will display your HSV values. And this right here will display your hex code for the color that's selected. Here you can choose your settings for HSV, HSL, or HSLUV. Over here on the right, this is your primary color and this is your secondary color. You can switch between those by pressing the control backslash keyboard shortcut. And that'll toggle. Here is a very quick way to choose between white and black. You can use keyboard shortcuts to move incrementally through the color wheel. So if you want something that's got a stronger H value, S value, or L value, you can press Alt and that letter. So Alt plus S is going to increase the S value. Alt H will increase the H value and Alt L will increase the L value. You can also do that with warmer and cooler colors by pressing Alt W and Alt C. All right, let's go ahead and close the color panel. Now, if we close the color panel, we can go up here to window. We can use the keyboard shortcut F6 and reopen that. We're going to dock it back over here on the side and we're going to move on to the color set. So I love the improvements in the color set. This is a huge deal for me personally, and I think a lot of you will really appreciate this. So we have the pigment colors and pigment color sets in here, and these are real world pigments, which means that you're learning colors, you're learning pigments over here, the same way that you would need to understand how those mix and the names of those colors, what they look like. You're going to be able to see that right here. It's going to improve your traditional art skills, your traditional color mixing skills, and that makes me really happy. So here, let's go ahead and pick a phthalo blue. And what you're going to notice here is there is an option at the top to display a gradient preview. The gradient preview is going to show from white all the way to black, and you're going to see in the middle how this color transitions through the values. Now, if we click on pigments here, we're going to see something very different. This is the magic of Rebel 5 Pro pigments. These values don't just transition through gray like they would with uh, RGB color mixing, but because they're using the algorithm from Mixbox, they're transitioning through the colors the same way the pigments do in the real world. This is a groundbreaking feature and one that I am so excited about. So here you can see just beautiful transitions through pink, through these saturated blues. These yellows have these green tints on the side. This mixes beautifully. And again, you have these great palettes. Now the palettes, Something that I've heard a lot of personal requests for is people wanting to be able to drag these colors around. You can do that now. You can just drag and drop. You can drag and drop the actual color sets. You can get more color sets. If you go over here, if you want to get more colors, you can click here on Canvas and you can click on the Get More Papers link. It will bring you to the website. Here, right next to Papers in Free Assets is the option for color sets. And these are really cool because you can just grab this and drag and drop it directly on top of Rebel and it will add the color set. Now keep in mind, you're gonna to need to restart the software. So here, the colors, these have the hex values and a number of the color sets have the pigment names, the color names. Now, if you see the little icon right here, the dot with the line next to it, the three lines, this indicates that it's a pigments set. So it means it's gonna have names here. You can turn those names on and off with show color names, you can show the, let's turn that back on, show as a list or show as a grid. 
if you have a color history here, so let's go ahead and pick a couple different colors. Now we need to actually use these colors on the screen for it to add it to the list. Let me point out here real quickly, if we've done some work here and we've moved these around to different locations we don't like that, we can click right here and order by hue and have it go back to that state. All right, so here, clear history is going to get rid of the color history. We can make a color set from the last used colors. These ones right here, we can make a color set and then name the color set by double clicking on it. Gradient preview, that's what we showed right up here. I like that turned on. Color set with pigment names is going to add that little icon that we see right here that shows that it's a, a color set that has pigment names attached to it. Color set from image file, I think this is really great. You can open up a image file and then extract the primary colors that are found in it. This is a really great way to create a palette or a color set and then pick the colors from that color set. And those uh, colors will be hex colors. They won't have the names attached to them, but you can double click on those and add the name if you'd like. And then color set from a text file and on the Rebel manual shows the format that you need to do that if you're gonna use a text file. And then you can, again, you can close the color set panel and then bring it back open with the F9 keyboard shortcut. If you want to add a color, you can choose right here, the little plus button. Let's say we pick a color uh, from the color wheel over here. We wanna add that color. You can see we have that color right here. And again, you can name it by double clicking. If we want to remove that color, we can just click the little minus button. Now right here, mix color, this is really cool. So if I have, let's bring this over. You can see as I'm clicking, it's bringing it over incrementally. So we're going to close the color set here. Close. And if I want, take this, if I want to make this more blue, then if I tap over here on blue, this is going to transition towards blue is transitioning at a very specific amount. Every time I click it, it's moving over a specific percentage. This percentage for mixed colors and that keyboard shortcut to activate that is X can be found up here in preferences. Right here, you can see it says mixed color. Sensitivity is 30. If we bring this to the right, this is going to be more steps. You could say a hundred clicks, although it's not a hundred, a hundred clicks to get it from one color to the next color. And over here to the left, a single click is going to make a very big jump towards the color that you're mixing towards. Here you can add new color sets. You can duplicate a color set. So let's say we want to take pastels and make another copy of it. We'll have two pastels. The new one will go here to the top of the list. If we want to delete it, again, we can just click this remove color set button. You can also change the size of the icons from small to medium or large. And then if we change this to, if we remove those two options and we get this beautiful swatch. All right, you guys, that's it for color sets and the color panels. If you guys have questions, put it in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.